What is up everybody? This is Mr. Tony Stark and I have a special video for you guys today. This video is the official reveal of my new branding and backgrounds, logos, outro, screen, everything like that. And I'm super excited uh, to get everything looking really, really slick. I really like what I had before, um, but I really like this stuff even better. And special thanks to um, the Green Lantern as usual. Uh, big thanks to him for helping me uh, come up with all of this stuff and putting my ideas onto... Um, electronic art form um, so yeah so definitely stick around to the end of this video to see my brand new outro as well as uh, head over to my page to see my new background and logo and let me know what you guys think um, but I thought what better way to to commemorate this new branding and new um, artwork than to talk about my um, my journey with gaming and where I started and how I got here with the games that I play now and um, what have been some of my favorite games along the way now, growing up, I didn't have any sort of video game console until I was probably about 13 or 14. Um, my parents didn't allow me to get one, didn't buy one for me, didn't allow me to play. The only thing I played was the original Nintendo at my grandmother's house. So I had um, some experience playing Mario and Duck Hunt, even uh, some of the other games like Contra for the regular Nintendo. Um, but my cousin had it. My cousin had the Nintendo system as well. So I would either play it at my, my grandmother's house or very rarely when I went to my cousin's house, I would play it on his TV. Um, and he was a little bit more well off, so he had that a long time before I did. Um, and I, I would play that whenever I would go there. We mainly played Mario. I would watch him play because I was terrible at it. I couldn't even get past the first level without messing up. Um, but whenever the Nintendo 64 came out, I remember him getting it for Christmas. So he was getting it that year for Christmas, and when that happened, he gave me uh, my old Nintendo. My parents allowed me to take it. So whenever I got that, it was the t around the time whenever Nintendo 64 had come out. So you can see how far behind I was as far as the loop goes. Um, but whenever I started playing Nintendo at my own house, I was only allowed to play it at certain times. I wasn't allowed to play it all day, every day. It was uh, very rarely I'd be able to play for an hour or two, and that was about it. And then by the time I hit college, I had gotten a computer, and I had begun starting to play uh, games like Need for Speed, um, the Hot Pursuit one, and I think one and two. I was playing those on the computer. Um, I was playing other games like that, racing games, um, some other ones, uh, what what else, Star Wars games on the computer, um, as well as some other, you know, DOS-based computer games. Um, after I basically got through high school with the computer games and the Nintendo, I picked up a 64 whenever I went to college. Now, whenever I got into college, I had gotten a 64, and, I, like, again, still way behind, because PlayStation is out by then. Um, they were probably beginning to work on PS2 at that time as well, but... I was playing the Nintendo 64, and that's what I played through college into whenever my, got, uh, my roommate in college had a PlayStation 2, and we played that. So I really progressed rather quickly after high school. I was playing Counter-Strike on a computer. I was playing Unreal Tournament on the computer. I was playing Nintendo 64, still. I was playing PlayStation 2, playing uh, Prince of Persia, still playing the, um, <clears throat> the uh, Need for Speed games, playing Midnight Club. Um, playing God of War, all the games that came out for PS2 around that time. I was playing all the sports games, um, going through it that way. But after that, it really, really progressed quickly. I was playing all the new computer games, and then I got from the, the PlayStation 2, I got an Xbox 360, and I was playing uh, the brand new games for the 360, all the new sports games, Halo. Um, some Somewhere in between college and after college is where I finally was introduced to Halo on the original Xbox and um, I think I pl played that at a friend's house and that became my one and only love. I was playing Halo all the time whether it was um, in my own dorm room or someone else's place um, but that's what I did and from the original Xbox into the 360 I really focused on Halo and shooter games and that's basically where I found my love for first person shooter games between Counter-Strike, Halo um, and then finally getting into the Call of Duty series. Um, and then that leads to today, where I basically play shooters. I like uh, strategy games. I kind of I can still play sports games, but I don't like to buy them. I don't like to play them um, as often as I used to. Um, but that's about it. I my progression really started out slowly. I started really probably late, I guess I should say, as far as that goes. But I 
since then I have played pretty much every console that's ever been out and like I said I own um, an Intellivision, an Atari, um, you know, the original Nintendo still, I still have one of those, Sega, um, you know, I still have GameCube, I still have obviously a 360, a PlayStation 2, um, and I'm probably forgetting one or two, the 64 of course. But um, but yeah, that's where I'm at, guys. I saw I, I had a an, a request to do a commentary about the my origins of gaming, and uh, I hope you did enjoy hearing about you know how I got to where I am now, playing games all the time, Minecraft, and uh, you know where my creativity came from. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out the new branding and stuff, and let me know what you guys think. Peace.